Hey guys, it's Alicia. Now today I thought I would share with you one of my really easy and very family friendly Weight Watcher meals that I like to make. If you're like me, one of the hardest things about doing Weight Watchers is finding things to make for meals that not only you are going to enjoy, but that your kids are gonna to enjoy too, so that you're not having to make different things for you and your kids. So this meal is one that not only will you love, your kids will probably love too, because I know that mine do. And that is for pizza pasta. So just the name right there tells you that your kids are probably gonna like this because, well, it's got pizza in it. Um, and if your kids are like mine, they love pizza. So this pizza pasta is kind of like a combination of pizza and pasta where the pasta forms the crust and the rest of it is like the toppings of the pizza and the sauce of the pizza. So this one goes over really well with my family and like I said, I just wanted to share it with you in case you're looking for recipes that your kids will like too. This is definitely a good one. So let me jump in here and I will tell you what you're gonna need to make this. First off, you're gonna need a jar of pasta sauce or spaghetti sauce. I'm just using this ragu simply. Next, you're gonna need a whole wheat spaghetti, 16 ounces. Then you're gonna need whatever type of veggie toppings that you would like to put on a pizza. I'm gonna be using a bell pepper, red onion, uh, about 12 ounces or maybe a little more of mushrooms there. I'm also gonna be using some pepperoni. I like to use olives in this too, but I don't have any at the moment, so um, not gonna use those today, but that's something that I would typically use. But any type of pizza topping that you like, just keep in mind if it's got points in it, you need to add those to it um, if you're doing Weight Watchers. All these veggies are free, so like I always say, I try to put as many veggies in things as I can because they're free, it bulks up the portion size, and it also gets veggies into my kids, so it's good all the way around. Okay, next you're gonna need six ounces of a part skin mozzarella, and then here I have a half cup of Parmesan cheese, and then you're gonna need another quarter cup. You need those separate, because they're going in different places. Then you're gonna need some part skin ricotta, and I'm gonna just use this whole 15 ounce container. And then here I have two eggs that I've lightly beaten. And then you're gonna need a ground meat of some kind. This is actually ground chicken. I normally use ground turkey, but I have run out. And so I'm using ground chicken, which I actually think tastes just as good as ground turkey. You can also use a really lean ground beef if you want, but I like the turkey and the chicken now because they taste just as good to me as ground beef anymore and they are lower in points so I like to use those but whatever type of a ground meat you want to use and then for seasoning I've just got some basil some oregano and a little ground pepper and that is all you're gonna need to make this first thing I'm gonna do here is get some water boiling to cook my pasta and then over here I have got a large frying pan I'm gonna turn the heat on to medium high and I'm gonna go ahead and just spritz a little bit of olive oil in here because this is a or this is not I should say a non-stick pan so I don't want my meat getting stuck in there now that I've got that pan heated I'm gonna go ahead and add my ground chicken and my bell pepper and onion And then I'm gonna just pepper this. Then I'm gonna just get this starting to cook. And when those peppers and those onions start to get a little bit softened, I am gonna add in my mushrooms. These veggies have started to soften. Uh, they've got a good head start on the mushrooms which take a whole lot less time to cook. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my mushrooms in now. And I'm gonna just continue cooking this all until that meat is cooked and all of the veggies are nice and softened. And then over here, I've got my pasta boiling. Now that my meat's cooked and my veggies are all nice and softened, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my spaghetti sauce or pasta sauce here. 
And then here I've went ahead and added probably a half cup of water to my jar. And I usually do this. And then I just shake that up in there to get all that remaining sauce out of the jar. And then just adds a little extra moisture too. So I'm gonna pour that in there. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of basil. And a little bit of oregano. I'm gonna stir that all together and then I'm gonna just let this kind of continue to cook for another few minutes while I do the pasta. So my camera cut me off, but here what I was showing was I got my pasta cooked and drained and I went ahead and added in the half cup of Parmesan cheese and the two beaten eggs and I've just dumped both of those in there and just kind of mixed this all together. And so this is what I've got now. And so now what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna take a 13 by nine inch pan here. I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of this cooking spray. And then I'm gonna just dump this pasta into the casserole dish. And then I'm gonna just spread this out evenly in here. And kinda just press it down in the pan too. And now I'm gonna take my ricotta and I've kind of mixed this a little bit because I want it to be as smooth as possible so it goes on easy. And then I'm gonna just take this and spread it over the top of this spaghetti. And while you're doing all this, you want your oven to be preheating at 350. Now if you use a fat-free ricotta, which I always have a hard time finding, um, that would reduce the points on this even more, but I don't mind the part skin. It's really easy to find. So I've got all that out, now I'm gonna just kind of evenly spread this all across this pasta. Okay, that looks good. And I don't know about you guys, but I love ricotta cheese. Well, I love almost any kind of cheese, but ricotta is really good. Now I'm gonna take my meat sauce that I've let kind of simmer over there for a few minutes, and I'm gonna just spoon this over the top evenly. And my sauce is a little bit runnier than it normally is, I added maybe a little too much water in my um, jar, but it'll be all right. And you don't have to add the water to the jar at all. That's just something that I do. So I learned that from my mom growing up and I still occasionally do it because of that. So definitely don't have to do that. And your sauce will not be this watery, but I actually kind of like that extra liquid a lot of the times because sometimes that keeps it from drying out. But like I said, this time I got maybe a little too much in there. So I'm gonna just keep spooning this out on top here and then I will be back. All right, now I'm gonna take my mozzarella cheese and my Parmesan cheese and I'm gonna evenly spread these along the top. And this recipe is kind of a lighter version of a spaghetti pie that I do, that I absolutely love. Um, I'll link that one just in case anybody's interested in that. It is really, really good, but it is um, definitely not as healthy as this version. So this is kind of my, I guess you would say, almost a skinny version or take off of my spaghetti pie that I do. When I'm not being as healthy. Okay, so there's the mozzarella. Now I'm gonna take my um, Parmesan, and I like to use actual grated Parmesan, not this craft stuff, but 
Um, I don't have any at the moment. Been running out of a lot of things, so I'm just kind of using what I have at home right now. And um, this stuff works. Regular Parmesan, like shredded Parmesan, is a whole lot better, but this definitely will work in a pinch. And then lastly, just because I have a little bit of it left and I want to use it up, I'm going to go ahead and put this pepperoni turkey on here. This is not something that I normally use, but I figure I'm going to use this up. And I definitely think this would taste good on here. So this is not something you have to use, but I'm just going to throw it on there this time. And that turkey pepperoni from Aldi is really good if you haven't tried this before. This stuff right here, very, very good. Two points of serving. And this right here, what I put on here is just a serving, so. Okay, now that I've got that done, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my preheated oven for about 30 minutes, and then I will be back. Okay, I let this cook for 30 minutes, and it's actually been sitting here, oh, probably a good 20. You do want to let it cool for about 10 before you cut into it, but like I said, this has been sitting here about 20, so it's definitely ready to go. So I'm going to cut into this, and then I'm going to let my daughter let you know what she thinks of it. Okay, and here is a serving size of this. Um, you get 12 servings out of that, and they're pretty good serving sizes, as you can see. And the points on them are nine points for the green plan, and I believe it's nine points for the blue and purple, but I need to double check that because it might be lower with the wheat pasta that's in here. I'm not real sure, but I will double check that, and I will have the points in the description anyway, but um, yeah, I believe it's nine points on all three plans. But yeah, this is a really hearty, delicious nine points worth in my opinion and like I said it's also something that I can make and my kids will actually eat it so actually a lot of the stuff I try to make I try to make stuff that they're gonna like too because I do not want to be cooking twice I only want to cook once so with this type of thing definitely goes over well so I'm gonna have my daughter try a bite of this I'll let you know what she thinks of it. And I'm not going to show her face because... I only did one eye today, and I just didn't feel like... Sh uh, she got... I would love to show her face right now, actually. No. It's kind of funny, because she has one eye of makeup... Eye of makeup. There's the dog. One eye done with her makeup. And then the dog over here, she's got her natural eyeliner. She's got natural she, eyeliner. She rocks it. But yeah, um, I looked at her earlier and I was like, <laughs> do you just have one eye done? I don't see how you could notice. It's like a well, raccoon. It, <laughs> yeah, so we're not showing her face, but go ahead and take a bite. Sarah, if you're watching, please give me makeup tips. Oh, yeah, Sarah. <laughs> she told me She told me that you do makeup. I'm, I'm drawing this out. Let me just bite this, and then I'll, I'll talk. Sarah McGlory. Mm -hmm. She loves your makeup, Sarah. So this is really cheesy and carby, and you have some vegetables in there, and it's just a really good meal to always come back to because you feel like you're being healthy, with the vegetables and stuff. And this is Weight Watchers, correct? Yes, absolutely. So it, it is healthy, but it doesn't taste like it necessarily, which is a win-win for everybody. Yeah, I was gonna say, how do you feel about those veggies that are in there? Cause there's quite a few, really. Aside from the mushrooms, which I- uh, Yeah, she will, I, I, yeah. <laughs> in all honesty, she will pick those out. She I'm does an 18 not, year old, six year old. She, does, <laughs> she doesn't like the mushrooms, but everything else, you definitely like, right? Yes. All, All right. right. She likes it. My my youngest likes it too. Um, that's just good stuff. I love it. I love pasta, and anytime, as I've said before, that I can get pasta in on a diet, I will definitely do it. And this is a great way to do it. Tastes delicious. Not a whole lot of points for what you're getting here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.